Hey everybody, it's Steve from Corporate Con Country. I'm just an ex-corporate guy trying to do country things, and the country thing I'm doing today is removing this stump with only a chainsaw and some hand tools. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert on this by any means, so I'm just going to try some stuff. I've got a 12-inch diameter stump across the top here, and it's greater in diameter the further down you go. And it's got these roots coming out in a major way in about five or six places. So here's the tools I'm using today. A spade, a rake, two and a half pound hammer, a ripping bar. I got a couple of chainsaws there and a, sh a straight shooter shovel. This tree was cut down about eight months ago. So this stump has been sitting here about that long. It was a dead tree. This was a plant bed area. I've removed all the plants. We're gonna flatten it out and we're gonna cover it up with grass. So here's a good look at some of the preparation I've done. I've got spaces dug out between the roots. I've got places where I can actually cut through the root. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to cut this thing flush off right here to start with. Then I'll go ahead and cut the roots and then I'll use the checkerboard method to see if I can get rid of anything that's remaining. I really believe that the secret to this was doing all that excavation work beforehand. Without that, I wouldn't have the clearance that I need to get to all the spots. Well, that top came off pretty well, so that's a good start. And now I'm further loosening up the stump by cutting through the roots. angle cutting this one to keep my chainsaw away from the soil. So I cut off the top of it and I went around and I cut the roots where I could get them 100% out of the way or I angled the cut where they were too large. So now I'm going to get my smaller chainsaw and just kind of work on this thing and see how much of it I can get out. Since I still have good clearance, I'm going to take another bite at uh, cutting this off level. I'm already below grade. This has been about two or three minutes worth of cutting. This is a hardwood, but it's been dead for some time and therefore it's cutting very easily. So now I'm gonna work on that middle with my smaller chainsaw, just cutting it up in chunks. I'm well below grade here. This is what I've got done with just a chainsaw and a crowbar and a hammer. That's a little hard spot right there that uh, chainsaw had a hard time going through. I'll keep working on that. This is the result after a little bit more chopping with the crowbar and the hammer. That's about eight inches below grade, so I think that's just fine. And now I'm gonna attack those roots with the crowbar as well. Let's see how that works. Now all of this is below grade, but I just wanna shave off the tops of these things just to be sure. So they chop up pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna go all the way back here, but that just cuts that top corner. So now I'll simply fill in the hole and try to level it out the best I can. I'm gonna compact the soil in the area where the stump was, just so I don't get a sinkhole. This is called dynamic compaction. Pretty good, huh? Well, 
I think we're done here. The excavation was probably the key to this. Having dug down far enough to where I could get the chainsaw with a bunch of clearance, that really helped me out. So I think we're done here for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Corporate Gone Country. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate your viewership and hope to see you on a future video. Bye now. Oh,